so it is currently 2 11 and i'm gonna leave in about 20 minutes i need to reweigh my bags just to make sure i'm not going over because i'm not trying to be paying in crazy amount I'll weigh my bags get the uber and then i'll check in with you guys when i get to the airport this is my airport fit i always go comfortable especially if i'm doing like long haul also i'm filming on my dji because i wanted to see how the quality is got some food from wh smith and i'm also trying to edit this little video i don't even know if i like it that much i did like a um holiday prep maintenance type of video where i did my hair my nails eyebrows and stuff like that which i'm thinking i don't even want to post it i'm going to show you guys what i got i found this little halal sourced chicken chicken and sweet corn paprika max which is my favorite crisp and then i got oasis and also I also got this like naked drink and to be fair for all of this it wasn't too bad it was like nine quid so for air airport food it's not too bad like a beach type of villa which i'm so excited to go and get my content we're literally going for one day i'm going to show you the big ass bag i'm taking but to be fair i didn't bring anything smaller this is the only thing i can take and you guys already know i'm in my default abaya this abaya is literally so simple i put it on whenever i need to go run errands or whatever look at the massive suitcase i'm taking for one day i don't think you guys understand but i don't have anything smaller so i'm just gonna have to take it and try so i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a tour so this is the first bedroom it's so cute okay 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 balcony which is cute i'm gonna go outside to show you guys how it looks and it's locked hold on um I can't open it but yeah this is how the outside looks from this side from this bedroom so the balcony is so cute and then there's like this little storage place mirror hi guys i'm gonna show you guys the best part at the end and this is the toilet i haven't been in here yet so like a little shower and me again so they have this like mirror to get ready if you want to get ready but i'm going to show you guys the best bit oh, so pretty anyways when you come out of this bedroom here we are there's like a tv there and everything i really love the decor it's very like a zanzibar like this is the outside from this side yeah i, sh I just don't know how to play it but it looks very interesting there's like a bedroom here a little wardrobe space I like the vibes, like it's very, you know, the sounds a bit inspired. I think this is a toilet as well. Oh, this is a toilet. So yeah, little shower. Me again. There's two sinks. There's a good size mirror, so I'm gonna get ready here after I finish doing this little room tour, whatever. Living room area. This is the view to go outside. So we're gonna go outside. They let us pick between like four villas, but this is the one that we picked. Cause I feel like the view is so pretty from here. And there's even stairs to go to the beach, as you can see. little sun beds and it's like very private and yeah that's literally the villa tour thank you what's the 
I sent it. They gave us avocado drinks. Oh my gosh, I was gonna fall. The food is here and I forgot my tripod, but I'm gonna put my camera like this and hope it actually stays. But yeah, I'm gonna go eat now. Is this fish and oh that's, that's chicken. chicken. The others are fish. Mm. I feel like this is nyama, no? I think it's nyama. Don't know. Guys, these cats are angry, bro. I'm trying to feed them. So don't mind the fact I'm wearing like this. I literally just come out the shower and I'm gonna um, moisturize. I use when I come out the shower is this Fenty Skin Cream and I had the mini version of this and it was really really nice. I have this big one. I'm obsessed with it. So what I do is just apply this all over my body. Obviously I'm going to do it off camera. But I apply this all over my body. I use the Vanilla Skin by Fleur and this smells so good and it's proper long lasting which I love and I just put it on my skin after I finish moisturizing. So I do that all over my body. I just use the Mitchum deodorant. It's the only one I carried with me today. the lips and yeah we're gonna get ready to go now <laughs> so i just finished the makeup and everything i'm gonna show you guys the outfit so this is what i'm wearing and yeah we're gonna get ready to go now but yeah we have reached kendra rocks and we're gonna order something a little something to eat okay i'm gonna get something to drink because i'm not really that hungry Maybe like spring rolls. <laughs> every time we go, spring roll. I'm gonna remember you. I haven't had sushi in a minute. I think they we might have sushi. Yeah, look, sushi menu. Just hold it. It looks a bit like the Cape Town fish market thing in it. Oh yeah. I might try it here. I might get like a little sushi and a drink or something. I'm gonna show you guys the menu. This place is so pretty as well. I've got one before and I can't remember what it was. What from here? Yeah. Dark. 
I need to start ending my vlogs but anyways this is the this is the day after it is currently like 10 a.m i am by the beach well we're still at the villa at z villa by the beach pretty much chilled there and yeah we just chilled we ate and then we chilled around that area and then we came home what we're doing today but i might go down to the beach and guys my friend made me some tea how cute you might think tea in this weather tea in this weather is crazy anyways i got about three hours of sleep which is a bit of a uh, i've not been sleeping like the past week i've not been sleeping properly the past week which is a bit annoying but i'm gonna catch up on my sleep maybe tomorrow i think we're going out today so i'm probably gonna catch up on my sleep tomorrow and then yeah finished filming some content my phone is like overheated currently because it's so hot out here so yeah i'm literally trying to put some i'm trying to put some sugar in my tea but it's so like stuck i don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it but yeah tea in this weather is crazy but you know if you're british you're british you know anyways i'm gonna finish my tea sunbathe sunbathe i say sunbathe it's pretty much private but there's people like in front of us so i can't fully skin out so i'm just gonna like chill let my face my hands and my feet get tanned but yeah um i think they just brought breakfast inside so i might go have some breakfast and then go down to the beach i might even switch outfits and do like swimwear but then it's gonna have to dry i don't know i might change outfits and then do swimwear so i can get pictures inside the actual water but we're gonna see when we get there you know banana mangoes and pineapple i'm literally just gonna have the mango and the pineapple This is what we have to eat, some sausage, omelette, and I actually don't know what the rest is, and some bread, obviously. I had a drink a little bit later, went to get some from the refrigerator. Guys, look at the sweat on my face. But I caught a tan, I think, I hope. But yeah, I feel like I look darker. Literally been out in the sun trying to get content, but the sun has been hitting me. And I'm also gonna go to the beach later. So yeah, you can see my face. I got a tan, which I'm happy about. But a sweaty one, damn. Yeah, I felt like something hit my face. So I thought it was gonna. Have you eaten here before? Is it good? Yeah. Gonna get the. Anyways, this is what I got. Pesto pasta. It's warm. I've never had pesto that's warm. And then some spring rolls and because it's a lot. So I'm going to this place called Greta Gweno. Don't mind my like bags and stuff in the back. Didn't really get the chance to like, you know, unpack properly. But it is currently 4.11. We leave at 6 is when they start the karaoke thing that we're gonna go to but i'm so excited it's gonna be like a sunset type of vibe i'm gonna start getting ready i literally just moisturize my face okay so this is what i'm thinking of wearing it's like a little dress 
and with this white hijab with like a white bag i think if you guys have seen me in this outfit before last time i was in zanzibar mind your business no you didn't so yeah this is what i'm gonna wear guys i'm finally done it took me about two and a half hours to get ready but i'm gonna show you guys the time so it is currently it's currently 6 17 the karaoke starts actually starts at 7 so yeah i want to get there so that i can get some pictures as well maybe not sunset but i want to get some pictures as well today i'm literally wearing a white hijab i never ever wear white hijabs because i feel like they wash me out but today i feel like it's kind of a vibe. guys i have arrived i need to walk straight there i'm still waiting for my friend but anyways it's my dark you can't see me I don't know which was talking to me. Anyways, guys, it's so dark I can't see nothing. Currently, I'm on Google Maps and trying to locate the place. Let me put the flashlight on. So I'm trying to locate the place because my friend is still not here, and I ended up getting a bajaji because the Uber, because the Ubers, like they weren't trying to find any riders for me, so. I literally just had to I feel like someone's following me but I literally had to firm it someone literally try chat to me and then I was like order me a bajaji and then he went to go find one and then he brought me one so I mean a win is a win okay so Google Maps is telling me to Google Maps is telling me to go straight so I'm assuming it is down this side So I got some wings and chips and my friend got some octopus and yeah I'm gonna eat and I also got some Fanta orange. chickens and now it's back and i gave this one as well and now they're just watching me me from the future this is where i'm gonna end my part one vlog but i'm still here for a couple weeks so i'm gonna be doing more parts i hope you guys stay tuned